<laughs> good day, good day, how the heck are you? Welcome to Roverland, this is your friend Dano, and have I got an unboxing Saturday for you, huh? Yeah, well, there's no box, but anyway, we're going to do some uh, looking around here. Um, you're wondering why in the world do I have this uh, memorabilia uh, on the desk here? Well, uh, in September, uh, I think it was September 10th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, whatever, uh, I, I, uh, this young lady here, Fanny Freckles, yes, she is the, uh, pure parader, whatever, she owns and operates this Mississippi Mayhem. Now, don't be mistaken, it's not in Mississippi, uh, it is in, uh, West Salem, La Crosse, and I, I've been working and helping and, uh, uh, being involved in Mississippi Mayhem, which is a rockabilly, uh, car show, pinup show, uh, and, uh, rock and roll shows on a Friday night, Saturday, and, uh, so I did that one weekend, and, uh, in that, um, I did some interesting things, so, anyway, just take a look, um, I think she might have a Facebook page or whatnot, but that's something cool that um, your friend Dano does. Yeah, uh, usually it's uh, 40s, 50s, you know, but they have a car show and stuff. And I was the uh, VIP lounge manager for the uh, for the uh, rock bands that came in, so she asked me to do that this year. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So when I go and do that. Uh, they have a swap meet also. There's cars that come in, classic cars, awesome. Uh, Pinstriper, my friend Wade stops over there. Uh, he's uh, just quit his job in the last year to do just nothing but pinstriping. And there's this fella called Top Hat. And uh, God bless it, I never remember his name because his name is Top Hat. But anyway, what he does for me <clears throat> is uh, this is in September is when this... Uh, Mississippi Mayhem uh, takes place, and he's a um, what a flea market guy, and uh, we're going to take a look at stuff that I got from him. I'm just going to tell you right now, I got it from, but what I do is throughout the year, I buy stuff that, um, <clears throat> for instance, I go to a, um, a, a Goodwill or... or um, a garage sale, and they have bags of toys, and uh, I have to buy the whole bag to get the Land Rover. Well, then I take it to, you know, the Fox Valley uh, um, Diecast Club, you know, over in Nina, and we've talked about that in this show. And, uh, well, anyway, so I have a lot of leftover stuff that people just don't want, don't need. And I pick up stuff like five packs, and I take the one car out, the one Land Rover out, and then uh, I'm stuck with the five pack. So anyway, so high, high top, high tap, top hat, yes, um, he and he wears a top hat, uh, this, you know, Abraham Lincoln uh, top hat. But anyway, so he's he's a, a resale, you know flea market junker guy but anyway so I turn in all my stuff clean out the 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 inventory of stuff I'm hauling around and usually he tries to pick up but not you know um consciously but he he picks up Land Rover stuff and if he doesn't he's willing to pay me for what uh I got and so I had some carded stuff and like I said so anyway, this year, this is all he had. Now, before I've bought, uh, uh, like, uh, newspaper clippings and ads and stuff like that. But this was all he had this year. So he gave me cash for all the rest of the stuff, which was cool, which was fine. But he likes, uh, he likes, you know, our little deal. Uh, it gives him inventory and a lot of the, the, the stuff. A lot of the cars that are like in this condition, he just puts in a big pile and gives them ways to the kids. You know, while the kids, uh, while the dads or moms are there shopping, his antique, you know, whatever, memorabilia, um, automotive memorabilia, the kids can go over and pick out a car and have fun. So, the, uh, so really a, a shout out to them. 
The also the other thing is a, a good old high school friend of mine, Leroy. Oh boy, uh, Leroy, uh, good old high school, and his his wonderful, lovely wife Tanya. They have Leroy's Grill. Yeah, it's better between the buns at Leroy's. Anyway, he's got a food truck, and he is a major sponsor for the the Mississippi Mayhem. You know. So, uh, you know, it's just a big event. You know, they got food food vendors and stuff like that and stuff. And and all kind of automotive vendors, too. I mean, it's it's huge. Uh, motorcycle vendors and stuff like that as well. So, um, Leroy comes and uh, he goes. And uh, so, during the summer, he does his food truck. And during the fall or winter, he goes down through Texas and has a, a life down there. But anyway, he found some of this for me. So anyway, uh, t real quick note, Leroy is kind of parked his food truck now. He is in, uh, going to be in Black River Falls and he's, uh, they've, they are using their food truck as the kitchen and now they have core, uh, a permanent site. <clears throat> so, uh, maybe some of you are familiar, uh, with, um, the Afghanis that came uh, to America to Fort McCoy and he was uh, over there feeding troops and then all of a sudden here comes these Afghanis you know so that was quite a quite an interesting year for him so hearing the stories about these uh, Afghanis which um, you know Leroy he does he does pork he does briskets he does uh, a lot of good stuff excellent food they, he makes it all himself. He, he uh, smokes it all himself and stuff. But anyway, so he's going to be a permanent site over in Black River, which is kind of oh northwest of where I'm at. So he'll still be around in the area. But anyway, so he was down in Texas, and he was out of flea market or something, and he bought some stuff for me. Thanks a lot, Leroy. This is awesome. Now, um, I, I, I take and, and graciously welcome and anything and everything Land Rover. Here's a good old classic, uh, the best of Matchbox. You know, these, you know, these just aren't around anymore. This is 2015, man. That's like six years ago or something like that. Uh, here's another one, just a night. And these are just like in perfect mint condition. You know, here's the first, uh, Matchbox, uh, Defender 90 that we got. And that was back in 2016. So that is, you know, this is just awesome. And here's another one that you just don't see anymore, the black uh, Defender 110. And uh, what was that, 17? Uh, 2016 again. So just, yeah. And then, then he did happen to find one of these uh, newer ones, but still, that's what, two years? 2018, two, three years, you know? So it's really hard to find this stuff, especially in the Matchbox brand. You know, they don't flood the market um, with a lot of the Land Rover stuff. Um, they, no, it's just the, the stupid transporters and, and, um, you know, taxi cabs and stuff like that. They really don't get a lot of this, but anyway, so, uh, while I was up in, uh, uh, West Salem uh, doing the Mississippi mayhem, I did do some shopping at the Walmarts. Yeah, the Walmarts, there it is. And so let me show you what I got there. Um, not a lot, but, uh, you know, it was that weekend, and so I'm just going to show you show you what I got, you know. Uh, that's what this is all about. So let's get rid of that bag. And uh, so let's start off. Oh, yeah, look at these beauties. Oh, yeah, here's my my thing from Walmart. We'll put that in the file. Uh, I, I found a pair of these. That was really nice. Yeah, that root beer brown. I love it. I love it. I love it. So I got a nice pair of those. I mean, these are even hard to find um, right now. So the other thing I got is one, two, three, four, four more of these, um, the the Matchbox 5-packs with the Polizio in it. And, um, um, oh, man, somebody told me what that means. Go, oh, shoot, and now I forgot. I forgot what that means. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but it, it's like foot to the gas or something like that. <laughs> I can't remember now, but uh, very cool. I really like that, guys, that you comment on that. Now, if I could just get my brain to remember <laughs> what it says or, or scratch it down on a note, you know, it's like, uh, yeah, Dan, somebody tells you something, you should probably remember it, you know. So, um, 
so yeah, I, I picked up those, and that that is awesome, you know. And uh, eventually, you know, we'd like to, you know, pass these things on to you, you know, if you're looking to buy or can't find these kind of things in your area. Uh, one more Walmart trip there. Uh, nothing too spectacular. We're trying to get the uh, get the bag off here, and uh, in a decently ca calm, collective way. So we can show you what we got. Uh, I don't know where the price tag or the receipt is on this one, but uh, yeah, I was kind of surprised again that I found some stuff in, in another Walmart. So uh, yeah, it's all cool. So um, yeah, this old classic on there. What is this? Two years old? Um, Nineteen. Yeah. So they, these were hanging around. Uh, one of my other videos, I said I was up in Eau Claire area, and they had forty-five dollars worth of uh, these orange um, Range Rovers on the pegs. Then I found these. These are beautiful. These are great. They, they kind of seem by now flooding the market with this stuff, but especially because uh, it's Marvel. You know, they really made a lot of these. Oh yeah, there. here you go. There's my Walmart receipt. Put that in the file. But yeah, so these are getting very, very plentiful. Very cool. Um, someday we're going to do a video about uh, trying to take those decals off of that uh, that bugger and kind of see if we can make it a true Zamax. And uh, yeah, so yeah, it's not bad. I mean, there's a stripe and this uh, guy, Nick Cage, I think it was, and then his, his special lady friend. So uh, we're going to see if we can uh, get those off so we can just kind of see what it is, you know, for you non-super superhero guys. So then I'm gonna land. I'm gonna land and leave on one last uh, fun stuff here. Um, funny thing, Walmart is carrying these, so I had to pick it up. And if you guys ever do follow me, you know I'm a big Jim Carrey fan. Yeah, here it is, Jim Carrey. When nature calls, this would be the second one, but this is Greenlight, the Hollywood series. Ready for this crazy thing? But bam look at that. Yeah, the 1989 Chevy V uh, S10. Yeah, he uh, Nobody wants to play with me. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately uh, the scene where um, He chases the bad guy and I can't remember his name uh, in, in The bad guys in a Land Rover uh, the Land Rover doesn't come to a good end uh, At the end of this scene, but uh, I had to pick that up and and uh, yeah, so because I, I collect, uh, you know, die cast and I'm a big Jim Carrey fan. I have kind of, I think I have the whole, um, all of the Ace Ventura things in Greenlight. If you want to see them, we could do a video on them. That's all right. Yeah, that's cool. So, anyway, all right. Well, holy cow, 13 minutes. We got to get out of here. Um, yeah, let's take a look at this one on the way out. This is a cool gem. The old, uh, Envelope stickers coming off of it, but hey, these are cool. These are kind of hard to get a hold of the sheriff part deco part uh, You know deco with the old traditional envelope stickers on the side All right, if you like this v kind of videos, give me a thumbs up come on over to Facebook Show me what you have uh, found lately But uh, yeah, other than that, this is your friend Dano. Thank you for joining me remember Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day!